Bermuda we're going to see, and it's going to start off right over in towards... Oh, my. Uh, my mind's completely blank. can't even remember the name of this place. But the game has started, <laughs> so let's jump into the action. Right. And just like that, we are definitely seeing some fireworks right now. Well, not a fireworks, but like some firings here and there. Just to be able to get in some distraction. But YP currently damaged immediately in to start of the game. Straight away, uh, going in for the action on this front. I, I'm, I, I'm interested to see how they pace this out. Because if you go too fast at the beginning, it's going to be very damning. Um, but if mm -hmm. you go too slow at the same time, you're not going to be able to get the sense of the map. And that's kind of what has happened here. I mean, Oxitami has done a good job of being able to secure a further position in. But he has also only got the Deagle. So if someone rushes him like Cobra with a MP5 there, he's going to be at massive disadvantage. But YP is going around the flank. Cobra is going to be taking oh, him out, God. knocking him out of the chance. Okatami is going to be going for the revenge frag. He might not even get it. He's going to get knocked down himself. Cobra, go for the instant mm -hmm. double knock and flush if he can get up these stairs, which he can do. Man, I really like how they uh, get in into a cobra there, but quite unfortunately, Cobra was just snaking themselves, staking them two of those taking them down and just like that it is currently a 2v4 situation dd and cricks right now only the two left against mortar who has been doing a lot since the first day but cobra here proving that he would be able to murder everyone else as well but look at it right now we have 56 seconds into clock right now we are seeing some chaos once again mortar is gonna be taken down no it is Griggs going down knees are weak once again dd is the only one left here and i think this is gonna be the game for albania takes round number one yeah i mean i'm not i'm not too surprised <laughs> france have been uh a little bit struggling in the start of that game as we go forward and albania just proved themselves very well and we're going to be hopping over to the part of the map called sentosa it's a bit of an interesting one there's a lot of gaps and i think albania are going to be on the disadvantage on this side of the map but they have every chance to be able to jump on through so let's see how they're going to go on this one or see mordor trying his best to be able to beat that previous <laughs> score and i think he's well on his way <laughs> and uh remember obviously these guys have to be very careful on what they purchase uh, in this one so straight away shots going to be going out across the map or mordor and his team have to make the way across the road Order, or damage just like that how would we how would we he be able to just you know top his score best his score if he's uh, gonna get damaged immediately but let's take a look at how's things are going to go vincenzo going to be able to damage Pricks here but there goes the wall again but here we go Pricks here needs to be careful as he is getting surrounded now I mean, you know, kind of stuck in a bit of a hard place behind the blue walls and the fence here. Remember, they have unlimited glue walls to use in this front, and this just gives them a massive uh, advantage on this circle. Doing the jump around Ring Ranga Roses here with one of the little players. He's going to be able to take him down right as well with the uh, the XM shotgun there. Doing a lot of damage with Vincenzo like, trying to escape here uh, for one of the players. So remember, he's one of the biggest creators we've got here. He's got about five point, uh, sorry, six million uh, followers on on YouTube alone, mm -hmm. which is just absolutely nuts. But unfortunately, those followers can't save him now. And uh, <laughs> Dai Dai is going to be looking straight for the rule up revive, but he's going to have to turn around, trying to take down with Vincenzo as well. It's going to be a bit of a disadvantage for all these guys on the French side. The gun's going to be coming out, and I Dai going so close to being knocked there, using his blue walls, the <laughs> one-inch wonder there, trying to do his right. job. Oh, look at that flank here coming in from YP. Going to be able to take down one mortar. Now dead. Cobra currently on his so called as well. Vincenzo, though, I think is, uh, is going to be the last one. Well, he is currently the last one. So called going to be taken out as well. Vincenzo currently the last one. Would we be able to take this one away? Die Die currently down as well. And it looks like it is just going to be wiping. Oh, never mind. Mortar got revived there. And it is, once again, another round for Albania. Thank you for correcting me. It's not DD, it is Die Die. Yeah, Die Die. You know, I, I I did that when I first casted on him as well. I mean, you know, these these French guys want to come up with these funky <laughs> names. Nah, he's 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 a really good guy, a really good guy. I, I think I think all these players are to be honest. I had a good chat with a, a few of them out there, and uh, they're mm -hmm. all really supportive. And I just want to say, like, the whole free fire scene, you're gorgeous. Thank you very much for being wholesome and friendly. Mm -hmm. Although all the fans out there, I know you're hungry for codes. Unfortunately for you guys, this is all about the players here. And let's see what these players are going to be able to do here. Crick's going to be pushing straight up the mid, trying to get closer to Cobra and the teammates. But he's going to be very much alone. Dai Dai Octodami not going to be anywhere near to support him. But the shot's going out. So cool. Going to get damaged heavily. But Mordor going to be pushing up very close across with oh, Crick's wow. rather with the shotgun. 
Why P though? Whip? Was that Whip? Apparently, <laughs> it's Whip, but very good flank here. Going into Vincenzo. Vincenzo going in for the flank as well, but he got, uh, he got flanked all over by Whip here. But look at this right now. Cobra currently down here. Is he going to be revived here? Let's take a look. No, he is not. It is going to be a KO for him. Warner, though, this is his chance to get all the kills here just to be able to best his score here. He's going to be able to heal himself up, but just like that, Mortar is going to deal a lot of damage now. And just like that, Ochimo, uh, Ochitomi YT is now down. Uh, that was really unfortunate for him. He just found himself like, suddenly exposed to one of the players. Mortar doing his best work here, flipping around, getting out the blue walls, but he's not going to be able to survive this, I don't think, as the oh. <laughs> shot's going to come through, break through, and take him down. And France finally find themselves a victory and managed to take one on the, on the board here. Remember, guys, this format is a best of three and there's seven rounds per match so they have mm -hmm. to win at least four to be able to win a match in total and so far albania has two france has one so if albania win the next two they've got it in the bag and they'll win this first match and then all they have to do is win one more but on the other hand france they're starting to warm up here yp doing a good job there or whip <laughs> i think i'm just gonna call him yp <laughs> I, I did it all last week i'm gonna do it again i wasn't corrected uh he he did a he did a really good job there i'm going on 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 the flank Great. took out vincenzo uh, he was just doing the wide flank himself as well, and unfortunately found himself face to face with this French man, and fell pretty short on that front. Right, but Warner here currently has four kills. Now the question is, would he be able to do it even further to best his score? That is something that we need to look forward to as well. As YP gets taken down, Sokol is down as well. But look at that—that that is quite a flank here. And just like that, Chris is now going down to his knees as well. Mortar currently damaged here, trying to heal himself up, but is he going to be able to? Oh, Ochito Moi. Oh, she told me YT. Man, that name really gets me. But just like that, <laughs> Albania is going to take game. Or no, not game one, but like round number four. Round five. There you go. They started. Do, do, some, do some of those like voiceover moments of like multi <laughs> Uh, so round five, this is this is crucial. Albania could take this one and just win this match altogether, and it's been far mm -hmm. too easy for them so far. That last round was a little bit closer, but uh, the round before that, where France actually won, it was really well played by France. But uh, they've just been a bit lacking in the in the sort of firepower scenario, not backing each other up. Because you have to remember, like whenever one of your players gets knocked, you have to do a trade. If you don't get a trade on someone else, you're gonna get pushed instantly. That is the rule of thumb in this front, um, unless it's like really far out. So there's Look, going to be a spread. Oh, gone. YP is actually staying from the respawn point. What is happening? That is uh, quite interesting to see. He, um, maybe he was busy uh, messaging delay. his mum. <laughs> he don't might forget. as well be. Don't, don't forget, kids, always talk to your parents and your mum. <laughs> Especially in this, this time. But look at this Dai Dai <laughs> right now, currently down. Is he going to be revived here? That is the question. No, he is not. He's going to go down, and it is going to be a 4v3 situation. Ochitomi YT is uh, getting damaged as well. Crix is down as well. And just like that, oh, Mortar and Soko gets down as well. YP, though, oh, is going to be the last one for the side of France. YP is going to need to do a lot of miracle here. There's no way this man's going to be able to do this, but turn around the corner, it's going to be Cobra taking him out for the count. Does a body spray up to the head, and that's going to be the first match in the Booyah for the side of Albania. Coming in hot, it's going to be Cobra leading the charge there, taking the MVP in Mordor. Not getting as many kills as I think he wanted to, but let's have a look at the scoreboard here and see how many kills were across the board. And guys, remember, look at the outfit. If you want it, you can go get mm -hmm. it. It is the black turtleneck, which you can have like YP going for the flank go for it but you need to make sure you're playing smartly not fastly so let's see how they're going to do in this and here we go yp as always going to get in some uh wide flanks here but mortar is getting flanked here oh, look at this critics is getting hamburger as well but yp is gonna go down that is quite a reflank from the side of albania yp though is still you know there's still enough for him to come back but Dai Dai currently on his knees and he's gonna get taken down by vincenzo takes first blood First blood from Vincenzo. It's going to be fairly good on his side, but he's going to be able to go in for the flush as well. Tommy going to be going in for revenge, but Chris is going to be knocked as well at the same time. YP is going to be last man standing once again. This man has been spending far too much time alone in the service standing whilst the rest of his units are <laughs> down. 
and out for the count. So, so far, Albania haven't lost a single player in the, this uh, this match, or this round, rather. And they're probably not going to lose anyone else, because YP is going to get surrounded here. First up against the Blues, turning around the corner. Almost knocks Vincenzo, but he's not even given that pleasure. As Cobra is going to knock him aside and say, nope, that's my teammate. You don't get to take him down and embarrass him in front of his <laughs> viewers. But... We're going to be going into the second round in Albania already, coming in with a strong force. The side of uh, France is going to be burning up the shotguns and the, the deagles there, trying to contend with the side of Albania, who are just opting, I think, just for the deagles for this round. They want to save some money. Right, and this is what we were talking about earlier. If France wants to get a score, at, well, not a score, but like, at, at least a game, they need to pop off immediately. But as things are... It looks like Albania is just denying them all the opportunity that they could. Yeah, they've just been suffocating them on this front. Luckily, I mean, the team, uh, French team are going to be playing a little bit closer together on this one. Vincenzo going in for the first shot. Misses everything, though, as he tries to shoot in this window. The storm is going to be closing down in a couple of seconds there. Five seconds, and it's going to be restricting where these guys can play. Since I'm trying to be smart about where he's placing these circles, going to go down and he's potentially going to get flushed. No YP instead is going to get knocked. And like I said, as soon as he gets knocked, you need to pick him up or need to go for the trade. And that's exactly what they did on the side of Mordor. And Vincenzo coming in from behind, a perfect flank, knocks down one side. Going to go in for him. Is he going to be able to get the knock? The <laughs> no reverse is going to happen. And Chris is going to be the last player alive. What's happening? The French team are falling apart right now. They're not able to even get a single kill in this one. And Vicenzo going, going in for blood here. But his teammate's going to be jumping in behind. They might even steal this one away from him. Oh my god. Look at this. Chris is doing everything that he could. Just to be able to get some comebacks here. But is it going to be possible? No. Quite impossible to do so. As Albania takes round number two. Number two, and potentially even the game, with this dominance sort of performance, they could easily just shove France out of the run-ins for this one. And I just want to say, like, Vicenzo, mm -hmm. he's on five kills already into going into the third round here. We've, we've barely even started this match, and he's already right. popping off. He's only got the same amount of kills as uh, Morda had last game, and also Cobra, who both had six kills at the end of uh, the last game, where they went, what, into the sixth round, or, yeah, the, the sixth round in total, mm -hmm. I think, or fifth mm -hmm. round. Um, so let's see what happens this one. Crates is a much better map, but YP and Okatami going in for a wide push, but they're going to be very slow uh, versus the three-man push from the side of the Albanian team. Oh, look at this right now. Albania is just pushing forward, advancing forward, but YP, as usual, trying to get a wide flank here. Is it going to now have any results? But look at that right now. Ochitomi, YT is getting hammered down by murder here. Wanted to get a murder scene at down. That is quite a trade. Daidai, oh, Daidai was able to get down murder. Ochitomi. Ochito me, Ochitomi YT, man, this name, I swear, always gets me, is going to go down as well. Died I almost dead as well. I just got him Okotomi. Uh, I'm sure it's not the correct way to say, I think, what is a, a Japanese uh, name, but <laughs> yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to double check with him. But either way, YP <laughs> going to be able to potentially revive one of his teammates. No, it's going to get flushed out, it seems, as Senzo is going to be doing a fantastic job once again, taking his total kill off even Ooh. further so far but he's going to be last man standing actually i thought he was going to be doing a lot better on this front but actually he's going to be stuck behind his glue walls in the one versus two situation the pressure is going to be on him jj is he going to be able to make this that is a possibility we've seen vincenzo do a lot for the team of france even when it's not a 1v4 situation but well it is a 1v2 situation right now but let's see how vincenzo is going to fare against this match very good this is what i missed from the last week vincenzo's walls are just so fascinating to watch but let's see though if that wall skills is going to make him win this 1v2 situation as the storm is almost closing in into those three players oh my god he's just doing an absolute fantastic job there getting a nice flank onto die die really showing these pro players how you actually play jumping around these guys tricking him he takes down die die he is in a 1v2 if he takes france out now it is going to be an absolute dunk on them and it's going to be an embarrassment the, the pickups coming in but the perfect push from vicenzo comes out the storm is here and he's pushing up the french team but unfortunately he loses Oh, and the, the clutch comes out from Chris X, and I don't even know if he deserves that, mate. Vicenzo was playing absolutely amazingly. He was. He was playing so hard, so beyond of this world. He, he, 
I I'd like to agree with you. He didn't deserve to die on that one. He was on a clutch. He was on a clutch race. Oh my I, I'm god. Just, I just kind of like lost for words because for Senzo, that was amazing. I mean, I called you out in the first game for not doing much. And you already came in strong here. You on six <laughs> kills. You were doing that 1v2 situation just absolutely perfectly. Um, but let's see how you're going to be able to do into this next one. I expect Albania are going to be able to slap this one side. But French team have got a, score, uh, a game on the... Sorry, a round on the board now. So maybe they're going to be able to pick this one up. Chris is going to take up some of the initial damage. But Albania have got a lot of damage spread across them. So they're going to have to spend some time healing. Meanwhile, the French team trying to gain some more ground here. Get closer to the center, which is in an awkward position. Right, but look at this right now. The Crix is now down for the side of uh, France. YP as well, and that it is what it takes. The first blood, but it is looking like Dai Dai, a 1v never mind score of Albania taking round number four. Just like that. That was so quick. It was just over like that. <laughs> Click on the fingers I know. and it was done. Mordor finally gonna, you know, show up in uh, this game. He's like, Vicenzo, please stop taking all the kills. I do actually want to have some myself. Uh, and so he is going to join in here. Uh, he managed to get two in that last round and just under 600 damage, if I remember correctly. And they're rearing to go. This is a good part of the map here uh, in Clock Tower. Uh, what a place you tend to see quite a lot of action in a, in a normal game. And Okatomi going to be going into the flank over towards the northern side there from RPOV. Blue Wall is going to be going out in Storm as it's going to be Mordor and Vicenzo heading up the first fight. Right, look at this right now. Let's see though. France needs to take this round if they want some games against Albania. But Critic is going down with a trade coming in from Vincenzo. That is quite an amazing push from France. They need to take on Vincenzo first as he is on a roll since earlier. Dida though going down, Critic gets uh, is gonna be the first blood for murder here. Dida going to be taken out as well. Oh, she told me why T is gonna go down as well. YP is gonna be the last one standing here for uh, for France, uh, for France rather. But just like that, Albania is going to be the one who takes the booyah off a score of 2 0. Oh, get some energy in there. It's booyah. Try it. Shout at me. Uh, okay, okay. Let, let me do it. Booyah. There we go. There we go. Some fantastic there go. plays there from the Albanian side. Really well played. Not quite beating the, the score there for Bordeaux side. Didn't quite get enough time to be able to do that. But for Senzo, going to be the MVP, I think, of today for the Albanian side. And out of that matchup, rather, versus France. And France going to be walking away with their heads held in low, a low position. A little bit of shame mm -hmm. there as Mordor and his uh, crew absolutely dominated that part. So right. let's have a look at the... Let's switch on over to the bracket when it's updated and really just sort of see who they're potentially going to face up against because we're going to be going into the next match soon. But I just want to say, like, again, a shout out to Vicenzo.